Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and this is your Modern Tech Breakdown. Today I'm doing probably my fourth video on Windows Recall. I can't believe we're still talking about this. Let's jump into it. So at this point, everyone probably knows what Windows Recall is. I've covered it multiple times on this channel, but very briefly, it's a new feature from Microsoft that is slowly rolling out to Windows where it will periodically take screenshots of your desktop so that you can search them later. Currently, this feature is only for the new AI chip powered Copilot Plus PCs. So if you don't have one of those, you're fine for now. But as I mentioned, Microsoft has started slowly rolling this feature out and it's already created a ton of controversy and it's already got issues. Microsoft promised that Recall would not capture sensitive information like credit card numbers. And it seems that Recall can't even get that right. This brings us to this article here from Tom's Hardware. And in the article, you can see that the author did some of the most rudimentary tests to see if Recall would in fact store credit card numbers. First off, I guess the good news is that on two different e-commerce sites, Recall did in fact not store the credit card number. However, the author put his credit card number into a notepad file, which a lot of people do to store passwords and credit card numbers and things like that, whether regardless if that's a good idea or not, and also put sensitive credit card data in a PDF form and a custom HTML form. And in each case, Recall captured the credit card data. Absolutely unreal. And honestly, thinking about this situation, it actually seems rather technically difficult for Recall to know every single possible situation where a credit card number is involved. I don't know that Microsoft is easily gonna be able to fix this problem. It seems rather tough. But regardless, this is terrible. Microsoft has already received a ton of negative publicity over Recall, and people absolutely hate it. Right out of the gates, it's failing. It's just terrible. They're breaking a promise that they made on a feature that people already dislike. At this point, I don't know how Microsoft goes forward with Recall. It's been an ongoing train wreck, and I don't think people want it based on the comments that I see on my videos. So hopefully this is the next to last video I do on this topic. Hopefully the next video is gonna be how Microsoft killed Recall, and we can all celebrate a little bit, but this is just unreal situation right now. Uh, Microsoft has to do something here. This is just not acceptable, but not much else I have to say on that. I uh, just wanted to let the audience know about the latest issues with recall, but what do you think? Leave a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.